so his brakes are the camera was on it was <laughs> the brakes are gone there's no good there's no there's no pad None. <laughs> the rotors are starting to uh, take an abuse factor here so what would you say you could feel what do you put the brakes on yeah, put the brakes on. <laughs> it sounds like a snare drum on a yeah Check out the fronts here. Fronts. I uh, can't see them right from where I'm at. There. They look like they're, they're they need to be done. He might have a little bit of pad wear or pad left on the fronts, but not much. All right, we've got the. Uh, what is this? Is this? I keep forgetting years is 06? 07. Chevy Trailblazer with a 4.2 in it. Rear brakes are making some noise. So we got the uh, 14 millimeter out. And we've undone the bolt down here and undone the bolt up top. Save time, I cheated. I already took them out. There's the bottom bolt, top bolt. And then I've already compressed the caliper, the single piston. And then these are your rear brakes. They look a little crunchy. So, uh, get in here. Customer's complaints was he's getting a little grinding noise when he hits the brakes. So what we do is go ahead and pop these out. Put this camera on tripod here. Maybe I can get a better working with two hands might be a little better for me. There's the bottoms. Bottoms, yeah, the rears. I'm tired. Okay. There are your rear pads, old ones. These are the new ones. So you can see the difference is they, they're they getting pretty darn close. They're getting right down there, getting ready to do some damage. So go ahead and put some new ones in. And just put them, new ones in the exact opposite way you put the old ones out. Make sure you replace where the squeal tabs were. The squeal tab was at the bottom. That's where the squeal tab needs to be. And then on the other one, squeal tab was up top. So we're going to put that one right in here. Oh, wow, those are done. <laughs> oh, wow, those are done, he says. There's nothing on there. No, they're pretty much, they're not happy. <laughs> All right. I'm not laughing. All right, so we've uh, installed the new brake pads into the caliper housing. Something that I didn't show you that I love using is this CRC disc brake quiet. I spray the pads and they uh, they get real tacky and that keeps the pads stuck to the back sides here. So we'll go ahead and put the caliper back on and tighten it back up and we're done with this side of the rear brakes. I wasn't going to film this side but now I have to because <laughs> take the caliper out the same way you do the other side but these pads they are making me laugh. I mean, oh my God. Original. No, oh my God. The owner's like, it makes a slight grindy sound when I hit the brakes. <laughs> you think? Oh my God. This is this is awesome. Oh, oh yeah. It's falling apart. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. This is some good stuff. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh. Yeah, they're not, not whole up. Un, unbelievable that your rotors are still in. <laughs> I mean, they're in still good shape. Oh, shit. This is great. I don't want to break up anything on the rotor here. Finesse here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yum. Give me them two new ones out of the box. They're right there by the rear end. That's what we took off. Now, I know you all out there know what brake pads look like, but every once in a while there's a new person that looks on, and this is what the new ones look like. Look at that. Yeah, I think it's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> I think, I think they're done. Look at this. There you go. There's some crunchies. No, just give me the box. You don't want to touch them. I'll just put them right in the box. 
All right. Just put them on the other side. All right, so I use the, uh, the C-clamp, and I compress the piston back in the caliper. Oh, look, there's some crunchies. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> I'm going to go CRC the brake pads now, show you what this does. So I got your pads out here. I'm going to take this can of CRC, shake it up, and all I'm going to do is just spray the snot out of the back of this. See that string stuff? That's like cotton candy. I'll let that dry for about a minute and a half. And that's going to become super, super sticky. Like if you touch it, it it's going to stick to your finger. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep the brake pads stuck to the piston and the side of the caliper. So every time you release the brake pedal, these are going to pull away from the router. So that way they won't sit there and jitter and squeal and make all kinds of funny noises that you usually get when somebody does a brake job and they don't do this. Tip of the day. Use the CRC disc brake clean. And you know, I gotta say it, I got that down at advanced is it autoparts.com. Advancedautoparts.com. CRC disc brake clean. Quiet.